Community networks is like um, um, end of miracle that happens in some local places where people find that they need to be able to communicate, to access the world, to be found, uh, and then they create their own communications infrastructure. That can happen because there is no uh, good commercial offering or simply because they don't trust the government, don't uh, want to pay so much money, and then they decide to go and create uh, their own digital roads. Basically is that uh, in all places where there is no um, good service offering, then you can simply wait, pay, or if the knowledge is available and the means and the tools, then if you are able to do it, you don't need to mi migrate, you need to uh, move away. You can develop your own community and live and work and make businesses locally. That's, that's the idea. The idea behind Confine is that sometimes the research community is desperately looking for problems to solve, but they don't have the means, they are too far away. And the idea in the Confine project is to open up these community networks so uh, researchers can, even remotely, uh, can uh, connect to a community network, select nodes, perform experiments, and improve some of the obstacles these community networks are facing. Because of course not everything is rosy, and then the research community can, can be effective in helping remote communities, so many over the world. And that's the, the role of the uh, Confine project. It provides something called Community Lab, which is a remote laboratory where you can experiment together with the community networks themselves. A network starts by one node, so someone decides to go ahead and create a community network, and then if I create a community network and you come to me, I can give you, I can let you go through my connection, through my computer, to the internet for instance, and then someone can come to you and do the same. Of course not to you, but to, uh, you, have to, you need to have your computer open so other people can go through you and get to the internet. That's how the internet started, and, but maybe we forgot. And uh, community networks are basically social networks where people bring their own computer and they can, they can automatically connect with each other and suddenly all the communications go across multiple hubs so you can get anywhere else including anyone else in the world. There are some studies that say that over the world there are more than 250 community networks uh, uh, in some ways or others and um, the ones we are working with in the, in the confined project are in, in Europe uh, the largest one has about 22,000 nodes in an area of about 400 kilometers, which is like a quite dense. Um, in Austria, there are two cities which are also ha have their own community network. And in the Attica region around uh, at Athens and the islands, there is also another community network. But for instance, we are getting uh, calls and there is interest from a community network in the Netherlands, another one in Belgium, another one in South Africa, another one in Argentina, another one in Colombia, so it's growing. And all of them have similar problems, so our solutions can be applicable to, to this. This is just one possible device people can use. It's like when you buy computers, laptops, there are so many options. So this is just one option. But it shows how easy it is to create an, a network. For instance, this is used in uh, some Spanish students who uh, come to the small town uh, to study at the university they either have to pay 40 euros and uh, once or 40 euros every month to get uh, a commercial connection so you can imagine that those say uh, in the in the science field and technology they choose paying once and then they with this you have also open source software just produced by the communities that uh, runs all these things automatically so it's very easy So there, this is part of a group of projects which are called FIRE, which in this case means uh, Future Internet uh, Experimental Research. Uh, so it's a range of projects which try to look at different like key scenarios for, for the future internet that have to be uh, developed uh, to enable uh, things which now are not that easy or impossible. And this is one of them. It's called an integrated project. It's a relatively large project, 5 million euro funding. Uh, for it uh, and about 
we started now eight partners, now we are 13, and we are going to grow up to 20. So uh, it's, it's part of the FP7 program. Being on the internet, it's, uh, it's a kind of human right. It's not recognized because the, the, the charter was defined before the internet even existed. But nowadays, I mean, uh, freedom of uh, expression, freedom of uh, communication, uh, all those things happen on the internet. So if we are allowed to talk in the acoustic space for free, we should be able to talk in the digital space nearly for free or for the, for the cost of it and not for profit. And there's one nice sentence one of the community networks says is that don't buy the network, be the network, which means it's not just the thing you pay, it can be yours. And if it's yours, it will serve you first. So that's the idea. I mean, local communities need uh, local infrastructures, otherwise they might not be able to develop.